welcome to the video and today I'm going to be giving you my top 10 favourite locations in Madeira. This island is absolutely beautiful and you're going to love these spots. But before we start, I'm Joel, I'm a travel content creator, so if you're looking for more travel content, please hit subscribe. Madeira is part of Portugal off the west coast of Morocco in the Atlantic Ocean. Madeira has huge cliffs, beaches, mountains and waterfalls. Let's start with number 10 and I'm sorry for my terrible Portuguese pronunciation but I'm just going to go for it. So number 10, Void de Noiva. It's a waterfall which goes straight into the ocean on the north coast of Madeira and it is a beautiful spot. The huge cliffs around it make it such a, like, a Jurassic Park kind of feel. I don't know about you, but I've never seen a waterfall go straight into the ocean before. So this was quite a unique spot for me. Also another spot very close to it is Sexual Beach. Number nine is Ponta do Sol. It's a village on the south coast of Madeira and it always seems to be sunny there. Not only is there a beach, but there's a beautiful arch, which is a perfect spot to go to for sunset with the sun setting behind the arch definitely recommend this spot. You can get some pretty cool Instagram shots with the arch and there's actually a path along the coast with some stunning views out to sea. Okay coming in at number eight is Cabo Giro. I've definitely got that pronunciation wrong but this is an incredible spot. It's like a skywalk where you look over the huge cliffs of Madeira and you really get a perspective of how big these cliffs are against the sea. It's only 15 minutes from Funchal, so it's really easy to get to if you are staying in Funchal. Another incredible viewpoint, which is on the opposite side of the island, which is a lot less touristy, and I don't actually know the name of it, but I'll find it on the map for you. And it's a great spot to just see the huge cliffs and not be surrounded by as many tourists. Okay, spot number seven doesn't actually have a name because it is just a random part of the road in the mountains. It has this U-bend road shape and it is an incredible spot to just see the surrounding mountains. We actually were here twice and we saw the clouds coming over the mountains and it was honestly incredible. I definitely recommend coming to this spot if you want to see those low-lying clouds. The mountain road up to this spot is absolutely stunning and you will just be blown away looking out the window. There's also a couple of other spots in the area, so check them all out, have a look at the windmills once you get on top of the mountain, and you will love this spot. Number six, this is a spot everyone would have heard of, and it's Funchal, the capital city of Madeira. It's definitely worth going to, the beaches are nice, the town or city itself is a beautiful city, and there are lots of different things you can do. Funchal is built on the hillside and is a stunning city. One unique experience you can do, which you can only do in Madeira, is the Funchal toboggan. These local men push you down the mountain in a toboggan, in straw hats, and it's just such a unique experience which you have to do. It does cost 30 euros for two people, but it is definitely worth it and something you can only do in Madeira. So we are halfway now and we're at spot number five, St. Vincent. This town is in a valley nestled between two huge cliffs. The town is actually right on the ocean and just made me feel like I was in Hawaii, even though I've never been. The surrounding area is a great spot to surf. Madeira is an uncrowded surf destination, so make use of those empty waves. But don't just check out the town, go for walks along the north coast because there are many other spots you can go to which are definitely worth going to, including the rock pools and this interesting rock formation in the sea. So we are heading onto the top of the mountains now and this spot is such a unique location which you can only really find in Madeira and it is Fanal Pond. It is an ancient forest which just feels like something from a fairy tale book. It is often known for being mysteriously foggy all the time and it was so foggy when we went. It is so easy to get lost within the fog that just be careful. There's cows in this area and it is also really muddy. The only way you can get here is by a car. There's a car park next to the forest but it does take about an hour and a half from Funchal but it is definitely worth the trip. One general travelling tip is I definitely recommend renting a car. It is going to save you so much time and allow you to be so free to do what you want, when you want, rather than having to take taxis, which can be quite expensive, and also getting buses all over the place. So get a car and you will not regret it. It gives you so much more freedom. 
So we are into the top three now. And coming in at number three is Ponta do Rosto. Hopefully I pronounced that right. This location is right on the far east of the island of Madeira and is like a huge long peninsula sticking out. It is the perfect place to watch the sunrise as obviously the sun rises in the east but it is actually only 30 minutes away from Funchal so you don't have to get up too early to watch the sunrise. There is quite a few different spots that you can go to all along this peninsula but most of them you do have to walk to but it's worth doing these hikes because seeing the cliffs and looking out to the ocean it is incredible. It is so windy along this peninsula because it is sticking right out from the island but it is worth it. Get on a jacket and get to this spot because you're not going to regret it. So the second best spot in the whole of Madeira, in my opinion, is Casca de Anjos. I've definitely pronounced that wrong. It is a waterfall which lands on the road, literally on the road. It is so unique. The water is freezing cold as it is coming off the mountains, but just go for it. Get into the waterfall. When we got to this spot, there was already people in the waterfall. There was cars driving through it, then reversing back. It's like a natural car wash. It is such a cool spot. And it is only just five minutes away from the arch and Ponta do Sol. So you can combine those spots together. Here is a map of where it is on the island because I have had quite a few questions about how to get there and where it is. Before I tell you the final best spot in Madeira, please go watch my Madeira video, go watch my Madeira vlogs, they're cool and they show you in detail all the different spots on the island. The best spot in Madeira, in my opinion, is Pico de Aereo. We went to this spot twice and I could have gone there another five or ten times. There is so much to see, there's so many different hikes you can do and it is honestly stunning. If you're lucky enough to see this spot when you're above the clouds, then you are going to fall in love with this place. We got to once and it was honestly one of the best experiences in all of my travels. I was flying my drone above the clouds and it was probably one of my favourite drone flights I've ever done. There's a large car park at the top so driving up it is the best way and you can actually hike all the way to the tallest spot on the whole island of Madeira, Pico Revivo. So if you want to do one of the most insane hikes of your life, hike to this spot and you will fall in love with this island. Okay guys, that is the top 10 places in Madeira. Tell me in the comments your favorite spot in Madeira. Hit like, follow me. If you want more travel content, I will see you in the next video. See you later.